You never came back. What could this mean? Vinny thought. First, it was saying, you never left. Now it was saying, never came back. Never left what? Never came back from who? Vinny's head was spinning at this point. At this point in time, Vinny felt a ghostly presence all about him. He felt con almost consumed by the ghostly spirits he felt lingering. He knew something. He thought to himself, whatever is happening, I must know something that I shouldn't. In the background, all around him, Vinny saw tree silhouettes as they danced in the moonlight. The sounds of trees creaking and leaves fluttering in the breeze all around him. Vinny peeked from behind his arms. What was that figure he had just seen? What was that that had just came near him? Vinny did not know what was going on at this point. Vinny took several steps from where he was standing, looked around, and thought, where have I come from? Where have I gone? Who was that police officer? What had just tried to attack me? Vinny took a few more steps, and all of a sudden, the breeze died. The trees stopped moving. The leaves stood still. All the animals of the night fell silent. Then, he looked over his shoulder and saw a bright light far off in the distance. How far, is, how far away is it? Vinny thought to himself. Where could this be? What could this mean? Vinny thought, maybe it's a car but maybe it's something leading me further into danger. He started moving towards the light. Vinny was completely mind-boggled right now. He didn't know what had happened on this fateful night. At this point, Vinny's car and the police officer and his job interview that he had just had all were a thing of the past. Now it was his future. Where was he going? When he came upon the light, only darkness ensued. As it got brighter in front of him, it got darker behind him. Vinny was almost upon the light at this point in time. He came upon it, looked behind a tree, and he saw 